minutes. Rudder I got thirty one percent bad on my battery, so my battery. <laughs> okay, good luck with that. Percent bad. Please make sure your seat back is in a full upright position and your tray table is locked in the up position. <laughs> you know, I would love I No, I strike strike that. We wind. Back in the day when I was younger, I would have loved to have been a flight attendant. You know? No way. Yeah. What? Just for like a week. Not when... Just nah. a week, because I know I wouldn't have lasted. Nah. But just to get that, that sounds ass. so awful. Well, I mean, maybe just, so to, gay. Uh, maybe just to no, go and that's... travel places, that would be kind of cool. But beyond that, <laughs> no. No, man. I'm just Come on, guys. Ass. Sophia. Why don't you just be a figure skater? Because <laughs> oh, I don't know how to skate. I don't know. He does wear tights. He can be a ballerina or a yeah, hairdresser. Yeah, I don't know. Leather profession. What I want to do. Sorry about the moving around. I'm taking the dogs out. Mm -hmm. Get some fresh air. Oh, what about know. like a crane operator? Would you ever want to do that? No, I would that get monotonous. No, I wouldn't. Not not even like, once though. Like for a week long. No. An operating that engineer? Mean... That'd be great. You yeah, that would be awesome. Sit in the air conditioned cab, those guys get like forty eight dollars an hour. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I get bored. I would My need guess. to be working I would need to be working constantly. Like I would have to be moving shit just like constantly. They do. Go to a seaport. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no maybe shit. Then. then yes, I think I would. I wouldn't mind doing that then. But then you as long as I think busy. I think I think the seaport would put me to sleep, though. Are you afraid of that, heights? That's too much. Not at all. Uh, a little bit. Oh. I mean, I could tolerate it, but I, I just definitely do not prefer it. Oh, come on. Jumping out of planes is awesome. Never done that. <laughs> I want to do it again, and my wife's all panicked about it. I'm like, you yeah, ain't got to worry a... about it, because if, hit, if the chute doesn't open... <laughs> there's a place that's actually not true. People here. survive. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, they do. I think a did famous you, celebrity actually survived. That big yeah. Did you guys see the Navy SEAL that did the world's highest jump without a chute? And then landed on a uh, one of those airbags or whatever the hell it is? Trampoline. I saw one no. of the, the guy who did it on the net, but I didn't see the airbag. Maybe it wasn't that. I don't know. I, I know he had other jumpers with him, and he had absolutely nothing on. Mm -hmm. how was, how I, was, saw, I saw a How was a net lost. after he landed that. that? Yeah, that, I agree with you completely, Doc. Sophia, come on. I saw, I saw a chick get launched on one of those uh, those lake balloon things, and she gets, you know, when they, where somebody jumps and you get oh, launched. Oh, jeez. And she, was, <laughs> yeah. she lost her top. It was great. Oh, yeah, where they fly. Wee. Yeah. For the for the intro tonight, we're gonna play the uh, remembrance video instead of the intro. I'm not gonna mute you guys, but don't don't try and talk over the video or anything. Yeah, I won't. A little bit, a little bit you. of laughing is okay. <laughs> if you if you there feel you the are, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> By the way, Spaniard, I also have this recording, so you can kind of see what it looks like with the setup I have for this. Oh, cool. Yeah, oh. I know. I, I forgot to, uh, not forgot. I didn't get a chance to call the blue jeans today. Yeah, no worries. Like no worries. We'll get it. Spots. We'll get it going. We'll get it going. Yeah. It's going to look nice. Yep. I'm working on Ogre's oh, yes. thing right now. Ooh, Ogre's thing. Is it pierced? What? Not yet. <laughs> got to put alcohol in it, on it first. A full Jacob's ladder. Ooh. All right. You want it more to the shaft, to the end, or towards, uh, towards the pubis? No, towards the end. Towards the tip. Okay. Dude, Wentz came into my room when we were in Iraq with a clothes hanger through his Prince Albert with a t-shirt oh, hanging on it. That dude oh. is a fucking weirdo, man. Oh, yeah. oh fuck. Oh. Swear you to know, God, I could have gone the rest of my life without hearing that. Yep. Well, and I would have been yep. perfectly fine. Oh, but yep. the best part about it is I went and grabbed the <laughs> oh, fucking t-shirt. A... <laughs> you gotta see him school. Oh, Come on, man. Ow. Oh. That's that. that what are we? Good. I need a title oh. for tonight. Tittle is, um, I don't know, man. About, um, and it burns, take, burns, burns. It burns, <laughs> yeah. The world is burning. Shit. Fire no, is we're just put let it burn. Yeah, oh, let, let it, it burn. burn. America's on burn. fire. America on fire. How about that? America. No, just America. America, America. on fire. 
America, America on fire. I should have had my America shirt on. Mm. We're going to go live anyways. How about that? Light up. <laughs> Uh, that, that's telling them, Doc. Give her that. What the heck? There we go. How about this? Let's get Sophia, that. Okay. get over here. Quiet on the set. Quiet. The IT guy, computer guy. Fix it, guy. I don't hire nobody to do nothing for me. If I can't do it myself, I don't do it. I was in the army. Got out before it killed me. I need to be on medication. Find me a better ship to sail on. Oh well, you know it's it's all mayhem in my days. Oh my goodness. Can you hear me? You got the freedom to do what you want to do. It's time to move on. What up? What up? I can't hear shit. Nice and tough in one of them bondage suits. It kind of reminds me of Pulp Fiction that shit in the basement. You know, the suspense was there, the action was there. It made me believe there was like more white people there than black. Hey, it's a lot of fucking Asians up there, man. Now, you know how I do it, baby. There is an Asian. There is an Asian. Yeah, it, it, it was, it was, um, it was pretty good. There is an Asian. There is an Asian. This is, this is the exit ramp. I love you guys. Got about like six to ten inches. You know, shitty, shitty weather brings shitty days. So you know, you got the bouts of depression. Coming. The one thing that happened this week, though, you know, I came in here, <laughs> and I was kind of upset and everything, because you know, rough week. Trying to keep these old bones from creaking and cracking in the cold. So I actually got hit by an IED. It rains sideways. Well, I just went back to the fire department after about a month long hiatus. Serious note: if it's originality you want, you won't get it here. I am a woman of many talents. Don't be a dick. There's ugly bitches that don't say thank you. Just be nice. <laughs> I have my thumbs up somewhere. Um, yeah, it's true. They're gonna find a way to do whatever they need to do to get to the other side. They've been doing it for a while now. I work on boats. It's extremely physically demanding. I also do uh, maintenance on the boats. Netflix. I watch TV. I'm scrubbing outsides of boats, but I work on yachts, so I'm always outside. I'm always in the I sun. ended up actually ripping my cartilage from my rib cage. Fuck you guys. Have fun and don't die. Hi, I've had a fucking hell of a week, dude. I stood up some Girl Scouts today. I feel like people are looking at me crazy. There's blood everywhere. That doll, my mother died with. A dog nearly died. I nearly died. Don't stiff the fucking Girl Scouts, dude. Good morning, everyone. It's the Devil Dog from Black Sheep Bravo. It's basically, I'm here to tell you about the new show that I'm going to have on Black Sheep Bravo. It's going to be a great show. Uh, it's called... The Thin Blue Beyond the Thin Blue. <laughs> this is the Double Dog of Black Sheep Bravo coming at you. With Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Double Dog of Black Sheep Bravo coming at you with another episode of Beyond Forget the Thin another Blue Line. Another episode of Beyond the Thin another Blue Line. Another episode of Beyond the Thin Blue Line. <sighs> oh, my stomach's hurting still. Oh, man. <sighs> Man. Oh, you took me off mute, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because all you can hear is like a fucking hurricane coming from your phone. Oh, sorry. No worries. <laughs> oh, man. Good, man. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is Friday night. Yes, grab your drinks, grab your dogs, grab your pet, whatever you got to do, grab something. And gather around. Grab your wives. Grab your round table. Yeah, grab it, and uh, we got some shit to talk about tonight. So, without further ado, welcome to the more morning. Welcome to the Friday Night Roundtable. We are broadcasting live from Red Zone to Green Zone and everywhere in between. I am the host, your the Spaniard. We're going to jump right into it with check ins. Doc, the PO, are you taking cover? Are you good to go? What's the status? Oh, yeah, over? we're perfect over here. Don't have to worry about me at all. I, I'm, I got everything covered. Uh, so. Uh, daughter is nine months old today, if you could believe oh, that. Hey. She's fucking oh my God. Like crazy. Yeah, Congrats. I know. Thanks, thanks. Uh, 
no, uh, gross. And uh, today I, I was changing a diaper and got an unfiltered fart to the face. So that was very <laughs> disgusting. And I hope it never happens again. From your daughter or from your wife? It was definitely from the daughter. <laughs> Smelled like shit and formula. Just checking. Wow. Right on. Yeah. So that was a good highlight then, huh? Uh, I wouldn't say it was good, but it was definitely a highlight. Right on. Roger copy. We're going to go over with uh, freaking, uh, what's his name here? What's the name of that movie where he was uh, Soldier of Fortune and he had the camera glued to him, Grubby? Um, what's nah. going on over there, man? Looks like you're like doing a uh, mission. Uh, No, not really. Just no power. Phone's about to die. Oh, I'm about shit. to go back to the Stone Age, man. So you you uh, oh, you switched over to the Amish lifestyle, or what? Hmm. Well, I'm actually not too far from Napanee, so we could do this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go say check them out, man. Let's go uh, see if they'll let us dig in their cow shit for for mushrooms. <laughs> there you go. What yes. kind of shrooms? You know, I'm a good kind. <laughs> Hell yeah. So you're doing good. Yeah, everything's everybody's safe. Yeah, man. Weather is, uh, yeah, everything's good there. to go. Roger, no, yeah, no riots yeah. in your area. Yeah. No, no, they uh, they shoot people for that shit here. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna talk more about about riots here. Uh, we'll check in with Grubby a little bit later. Preacher, preacher, the man in black. Preacher, what's going on? Good in Illinois. evening, everyone. The uh, Democratic People's Republic of Illinois. Uh, yeah, I don't. We don't. We don't necessarily shoot people for that around here. I'm just mainly ducking. So. I haven't haven't gotten hit yet. I'm gonna keep it that way. Very good. And then we're gonna head over to Stately Ogre Manor with our very own Ogre. Hello. How are you? Hi O. I'm uh, recovering from three conference calls today about exciting school bus business. So. Uh oh. Okay. Hey, it pays the bills. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> were they long? Bucks, were they long? Bucks. Yeah, were they long conference calls? There was three of them. They were yes. It was. It, I was pretty much on Zoom meetings from uh, when was it? 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. Ooh, were you in like a, a suit top or your polo top with in your underwear? No, nah, I got a I got a thing taped over my camera, so kind of like Doc when you first come on on when we have our oh, pre-production yeah. meetings. Yeah. I have that taped up, and then the, the area general manager was like, Sean, we haven't seen you all week. And I told her, I'm like, yep, that is correct. You have not. And we're going to keep it that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's about what I said, yes. But respectfully. We've all got faces for radio anyway. That's true. Yeah. Right. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I will, thank you very much. Oh, handsome fellow. But other than that, well, I got, uh, I'm sure we'll get to other shit. No, oh, I'm sure, and that's we're gonna go ahead and just rip the bandaid off right now. We uh, we're not gonna be talking about what we have, or we're, we're, we've been trying not to talk about for the past couple of weeks. So I'm we're kind of we kind of lucked out, so we don't have to talk about that issue. And that's of course quarantine, COVID shit. We got something else to talk about, yep. and that yep. is um, Minnesota. Uh, who wants who wants to dive right in and, and take uh, take the lead on this? Get us going just, here. It's Anyone? not just Minnesota either. It's it's DC. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Atlanta. It's Colorado. LA. I guess people were getting shot last night in Louisville, and oh, uh, shit. it's pretty well. crazy. Let's uh, let me let me let me throw something at you here. Let's pretend. Okay. Let's uh, let's say uh, me, Grubby, Preacher, and Doc. You used to fit into this category. Let's say. Your whole lifetime, since since you were born and since your pappy and your grandpappy were born, uh, you know, fat white dudes were 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 put upon. They faced unfair uh, sentencing. They had trouble. They had different things in in school, uh, getting jobs. They had they faced uh, different shit from the police. Fat white guys had a one in a thousand chance of being killed by the cops versus skinny guys or anybody else or girls. You see uh, derogatory shit about fat white guys on movies, on TV as we're growing up, just on and on your whole fucking life. And then all of a sudden, a few days ago, you see some fat white guy getting his uh, neck kneeled on for eight and a half minutes by a cop. And I'll tell you what, you, you I, I, I'd, I'd be right there looting a fucking target and burning my own fucking neighborhood down. 
if you're that, the, the thing that gets me the most about that is people are more upset. People are more fucking upset, and there's more complaints about a target being looted and a building being burned down than a guy getting murdered in a fucking street. Mm-hmm. And if you worry more about that, you got to look in a fucking mirror. Yeah. It's that simple. I totally agree. If, you, if your big thing is, oh, my God, they're rioting, and look what happens, and oh, look at the target getting looted and the people taking lamps. What about the guy that got his neck fucking knelt on for eight and a half fucking minutes and got killed in the street? I, I mean, how, I, you can't even begin to comprehend this shit. And this shit has been going on and on and on and on. If we didn't have the internet, if everybody didn't have a fucking camera in their pocket, this shit would have been on page 12 of section 3 of the Minneapolis Times, and it would have said under a small little title this big, man dies after arrest. And that would be it. This shit has been going on forever. And if your big fucking problem is that a target got looted and fucking buildings got burned down, property fucking damage, and that's the thing you're going to cry about and bitch about and and get on Twitter and fucking Facebook from your fucking comfortable place where you live in your fucking world where you don't have to face this shit and you don't have to deal with this your whole life and your family hasn't dealt with it their whole fucking lives, and you're going to worry about a target, not a guy getting fucking killed in the street by police who are supposed to serve and protect. You need to look in the fucking mirror, and you're the goddamn problem. It's that simple. This shit is getting me pissed off the more I think about it and get riled up. And I just read the shit, and all these people, oh, look what happens. Oh, why are they so pe-? And how about the fucking impeached president? What great fucking leadership. Nice way to tweet some bullshit from a fucking uh, uh, a mayor back in fucking the 60s talking about shooting black people. Once they start to looting, we start a shooting. Yeah, that's fucking great. That's that's wonderful. And people are like, hooray. Yeah, that's right. Shoot them because they looted a target. Once again, how about the guy that got his fucking neck built on until he died? Watch the goddamn video. If you didn't watch it, watch it. Questions? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. Why burn your neighborhood? So that is total stupidity. Total stupidity. Let because the judiciary take fu- care of this who, who's investigation. Who's asking that? Who's asking that? That was uh, Sherry Weber. Once again, Sherry, have you been putting up with this your whole fucking life? <laughs> have people in your your family and your neighborhood been I mean, getting arrested? What have I don't understand is beat on by the cops. You right, stand but, quietly and hold a fucking sign. You stay, that's that protest is going to get it done. Yeah, Jillian makes a good point here, and I totally agree with it. They're looting and rioting like this because they're not being heard any other way. That's um, just it. Yeah, and and the same thing happened back in the day, like during the Boston Tea Party and shit. That wasn't a peaceful protest. That that was a fucking riot. <laughs> All that shit happens for a reason. Actions speak louder than words. My favorite so, is look at those guys. You know what they should have done here? You wanted a peaceful protest. You want a peaceful protest. Uh, about about 50 black dudes from from the quote unquote hood there in St. Paul or Minneapolis, they should have got home and strapped on their fucking AR-15s and their long guns and their their fake uh, militia outfits and their bulletproof vests. They should have went downtown and stood in a line and fucking screamed in cops' faces. Oh yeah, that would I'm never sure happen. That, I'm that sure would never that, fly. those cops. I'm sure the cops would have just stood there and took it like they did in fucking Michigan with them fucking hillbillies standing there yelling yeah. at. Them. Yeah. And people no, look at this. Never... How can you look at that? There's a perfect example. One versus the other. Imagine a bunch of fucking black dudes with rifles strapped on their shoulders yelling at fucking cops. How quick would the batons and the dogs and the water hoses come out? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. It'd be, it would that'd be utter yeah. chaos, man. If you thought if it's bad now. Oh, man, that would be and utter chaos. And people are going to sit there and say, oh, no, that doesn't happen. No, that doesn't happen. Once again, without a fucking camera and without that happening... None of this happens. None of this. Nobody totally oh, it happens. The guy totally still gets agree. killed. He gets yeah. killed in the fucking street by a cop kneeling on him to serve and protect and to kneel on your neck until you die. And people are going to think that, oh, well, look what happened to the target. Look what happened to the buildings burned down. Oh. Nobody's going to fucking listen to 45 There's... people standing there quietly, respectfully with a sign. Please don't kill us anymore in the street. Yeah. There's a. Uh... And here, here's gonna here's going to be down. burn it down. Let me uh let me let me take some of the uh, let me take some of the pressure off you, Ogre, and, and and let me uh let me just throw this out there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now you guys can get a taste, and now you understand 
what Colin Kaepernick was trying to do, all right? It wasn't about the fucking national anthem. It wasn't about the flag this whole goddamn time. Finally, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping, right? I'm really hoping Mr. Kaepernick comes out and makes a statement and said, yeah, that's why I took a knee. He's right? not going to say anything. I know and, he's not. I know still, he's not. But I'm just throwing more, that out there right now because and, that's... And, and I'll that, bet you... Well, hold on. Hold on. Let me just make my point. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me just make my point. He did something mm-hmm. for, you know, he did something for injustice by oh, doing awesome. something nonviolent, by just taking a knee, man, just by simply t- you know, taking a knee, start, it sparked outrage for the wrong fucking reasons, right? For the wrong goddamn fucking reasons. And now this is now... I'm hoping people put the light on and see, oh, now I get what he was talking about. Now I understand. It's it's about injustice, folks. That's what this whole outrage is about. It's not about burning a target. You know, we could rebuild. We could rebuild buildings. We could, you know, we could replant. We could, you know, fields. We could do all that again, but we can't bring back life. So enough with the rhetoric about why are we burning our neighborhoods? It's not your neighborhood. It's the neighborhoods that these people have been have been mistreated. They're angry, folks. Everybody is angry. The neighborhoods they've been murdered in. More people still, I bet you a goddamn dollar, more people are still fucking upset about seeing Kaepernick take a knee at the <laughs> national anthem than a picture of a cop with a knee on a guy's neck killing a guy. Oh, Don't no, disagree. I know. Oh, I know. More people are Our still priorities upset. are all fucked up. I'm just going to say it. And did you all see right. fucking, did you see Trump try to walk it back? I don't they watch looting, I, just don't, I don't watch shooting. him anymore. I just it's, stopped it's watching. It's fucking ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> you should just time, stop watching it, Ogre. It, it was In the great. time that we need no, no, no. leadership. He's, they say they're going to have a fucking press conference. Oh, the president's going to come out and have a press conference. Oh, cool. I, I still, I, maybe I'm an idiot, I guess. I, there you go. There's a there's a drop for you, Rajesh. Maybe I'm the fucking idiot because I see a press conference by the idiot. president. There you go. And I'm thinking, well, geez, I wonder what he's going to have to say about this. Maybe just maybe I hold out hope this time he's going to do something fucking right and maybe like try to try to try to be presidential for once. The fucking country is burning. There are fucking riots going on all across the country. He comes out. He talks to the teleprompter. Remember how big teleprompters were when Obama was president, by the way? What a terrible thing it was to be on a teleprompter. He talks to with a prepared teleprompter speech about China and Hong Kong and then turns around and scurries back in the White House without taking any fucking questions. Not one goddamn word about the guy being murdered. Not one word about the protests. Nothing. Because what is he going to say? I mean, he... he... I don't know, call for calm, be a president, something? <laughs> Have you met the no, guy? I, I concur. I concur. That's what we really need And people right now. still fucking support him like he fucking does anything. That's what drives mm-hmm. me nuts, too. The fuck it, guy. The world is, the country is burning over this shit, and he just ignores it. He sends a tweet out about trying to be funny, real funny about talking people, more people getting fucking murdered. Yeah, ha ha, big joke, Donnie. And then here's your chance. Once again, here's a chance. It's set up for you, dude. Go out there and be the fucking president. Talk about China and Hong Kong and talks about how they're pulling out of the World Health Organization. Another great move. That's wonderful. Super. Yeah. Whatever. And he turns around and walks away. That's it. I just don't get it. I mean, I don't fucking understand it. And I don't understand how people can watch that from a president. And I know Doc and the fucking anarchists or whatever you are, and they talk about, oh, it doesn't matter what a president does. <laughs> but it does. Be a fucking leader. All right. We're going to take a break from Ogre Preacher. Chime in, in here. Well, what are your thoughts? <laughs> yeah. And then, and then from Preacher, we're going to go to Grubby here. We thought Wednesday great. brought us down. <laughs> oh, man. No, go, go, to, go to Grubby. Go to Grubby. No, no, no. no. No, I want I I, I got to get your spiritual in before we get my hothead in. So yeah, that's that, oh, I planned boy. that on purpose, preacher. That was on purpose. Oh, Julian loves so, when people uh, are ranting free, and throw funny in free, there. Right, Haha, Donnie. <laughs> uh, I'm okay. Fine. Here we go. Ugh. So here's the thing. This is wrong on both accounts. I will not take sides on this. My side is if you're going to justify murder, that's wrong. Period. Done. Okay, if you're talking about the life of an individual, you need to make sure that that is the life of an individual. Okay, it doesn't matter what kind of property you're talking about. You're talking about a human being and a human being has inherent value. 
Okay, that is a God-given thing. We are endowed by our Creator, according to the Constitution, according to the, Dec the Declaration of Independence. We are endowed by our Creator with unalienable rights. And the, what's the first one? The right to life. Okay, so even from a legal standpoint, let's look at it that way. From a spiritual standpoint, we were created beings, male and female. He created us. We were formed in His image. All human beings have an inherent value to them, one way or another, okay? That's on one side. On the other side, there is still no justification for burning down a part of the city. Now, granted, I live on the south side of Chicago. We go over to the west side and burn shit. So we're not going to burn our own neighborhood. We're going to burn somebody else's neighborhood. It's just the way it goes. But here's the thing. You're still taking away the property of someone else. And it's not just the property, because when you're talking about property, you're talking about hours of someone's life that has been invested into something, okay? And maybe it's not inherently that person's life. Maybe it's, maybe it was an investment that somebody else made. Maybe it was something that their father made or their grandfather made. The hours of their life that they've decided that they're going to put their lives into and they're gonna try and build up and they're gonna try and work for and they've invested their life into this. And when you take a property, a piece of property away, you are devaluing the hours of someone's life that they have spent to put into that thing, okay? So if you're gonna justify one death by the death of the hours of another person, both of them in my eyes are wrong because you are still devaluing life one way or the other, okay? Are there ways to go about this? Yes. Are there horrible uh, acts of atrocities that happen? Yes, I'm not going to justify either one. What I am gonna say is, first of all, okay, I wanna know every angle on this. I love that they released the body oh, cam Christ footage. Uh, oh. Hang on, Ogre, hang on, on, let me finish. He knelt on his fucking neck and killed him. That's I, it, burn the fucking you know city down. Fuck that no, shit. Bullshit. Stand around no. peacefully with a sign. Please don't kill us. I'm not That's going to get the no. point across. Bull That's not what I'm saying. 100% bullshit. Hold, hold on, no, hold on, Don't burn on, down Ogre. Target because it's people built yeah. there. Muting, Fuck hold on, target. hold on. Yeah, he, he was respectful of you, Ogre. Yeah, hold on, I don't Ogre. care if hold he on. was or not. It's fucking <laughs> bullshit. On. He's babbling bullshit. Hold on. He's he, got he, a point, though. He's got a point. Preacher, do you have, are you almost done with your point? I'm going to try to be. All, Go for all it. I'm saying is, <laughs> all I'm saying is, I want to know the full story. And yes, Ogre, I agree. Okay. From what I saw, that was something that never should have happened, period. And that man, if, and, and here's the thing that's why we have due process in this country. Okay. I am not going to take the law into my own hands. But at the same time, should he be held accountable for his actions? Absolutely. And that means the arrest and the murder that he is currently charged with. But if someone else is doing the same thing, no matter their skin color, I still want the law upheld too. We live in a country of law. I want to see that happen. Okay? I want him shown the same rights that you would be shown. Am I pissed about it? Absolutely. But it doesn't mean that I'm going to act ra irrationally because I'm pissed off. I still want people to have the same rights, whether I'm angry or not. I want my black, my Latino, my African American, my or, or my uh, my uh, Asian American, and my Native American brothers and sisters to be held with the same rights and values and privileges that I have too. Okay. Right on. So if right, if, if yeah, I want to extend been, that's been that's been going along so great for the last two hundred and some years. Okay. All right. We'll come back. To, we'll come back to that great. point over in a second. Grubby, welcome. <laughs> Oh, Ogre's just over there kind of cringing right now. Where's your life? Nah, for one. Oh, your power's uh, out. I, yeah, our power's out, dude. Um, when you guys heard me falling out in my garage, I was grabbing my battery back up for my phone. That's why. Fire, fire up your generator. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It looked like yet. we were watching the Blair Witch Project there for a second. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't hear me cussing when I fell. But anyways, <laughs> um, to go back on it, Ogre, that, yeah. I agree with you 110% about them killing that cop killing him. And now it's coming to light that that motherfucker was trigger happy. He had done this to more than one person. It had been dismissed. Yes. But on the opposite side of the spectrum, back in 2017, a white female was killed by a black cop in Minneapolis. 
Where? And it did not cause rioting. It did not cause anything like this. So, okay. and they're trying to play the race card. And I get it because the man, for one, wasn't doing a fucking thing wrong. He really wasn't. And later come to light that the... What, the <laughs> I'm <money>. sorry. <laughs> no, I'm saying the money... No, that the dude no I'm sorry. I'm watching. They're showing that I've watched, they got the, the curfew going and a guy just crashed his scooter. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. But anyways, <laughs> That's the guy, the, uh, was it the cash or the check that he had or whatever? Come to find out wasn't, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> That's them guys. Of yeah, it was a counterfeit. It was. Well, I thought it was. Didn't he? It was. It was a counterfeit bill, or thought it was, or something. Counterfeit twenty. And there you go. And and to and to address your the rednecks in Michigan, those rednecks holding rifles in Michigan were doing shit like that to stop cops from shutting down a barber. So they do that shit to keep cops from doing shit like that. If you want to know the the whole truth behind that, yeah, and the kinda, reason they kinda, didn't get kind of not the point that it was going for, but well, okay. But they, you know, I mean, that's the whole purpose of it. Mm -hmm. You know, they were keeping his livelihood open. Um, I'm sure you guys, you know, especially Ogre, pays attention to the media more than probably any of us, except maybe Preacher. Um, what's wrong? I think it's wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. She just kicked the dog pulling the dark. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what is going on over there? What is yeah, yeah. This is their. Uh, this say this is uh this is the last Friday of the month, man. They get all kinky here on Friday. <laughs> Emergency procedures taking hold. There that vibration you hear, but um, <laughs> they um. Anyways, there was a a black gentleman that owned a bar that got burnt down that he put his whole entire livelihood into. And as they were interviewing him, the guy was sitting there bawling. He doesn't know what he's going to do now. You know, what the hell did he do to deserve this? Well, was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Lots of people had that happen yeah, to a lot of people. There's going to be yeah, a lot of collateral there's, damage, there's no doubt. Women, it's, it's coming out that in some places women have been kidnapped. Well, what happened? He muted himself, but What? what? There we go. Okay, he's back. We're all angry. How do we resolve this? So... Prosecute the cops. Is that your answer? Yeah. That's Prosecute the thing. The Here, I, got I, I don't think that's enough. I, I got an answer. The thing is, is that instead of that bullshit, like Grubby said about following the media, yes, I do. I do pay attention to news and shit and watch all that crap. Sometimes I even flip over to Fox uh, to bottom bitches disdain. And... Uh, <laughs> They came out the the city, I guess the the I don't know if it was the DA or whatever. Uh, they come out on uh, Thursday night and they do some rambling bullshit where they say the guys they they can't arrest them yet and this and that. This is why I want a devil dog on here because they could have came up. I'm sure the police, the the, the city and the DA's office, they could have came up with something where they, yes, we have we have I don't want to say appreh I guess apprehended or detained the four officers in charge. They are currently uh, you know detained in police custody and they're being questioned and uh, they're they're locked up for lack of a better word and charges are soon to follow forthwith. You know coming out soon so thank you they're locked up i'll bet you that would have solved that would have shit would have been a lot less crazy than it was but no they come around yeah. and they bullshit and they say well nope we can't do anything yet this dude watch 10 months from now this guy's gonna plead down to fucking manslaughter second degree and get probation or like a fucking uh, month or time served or whatever some bullshit he's gonna plea out it's gonna be 10 months from now and the shit's gonna blow up again and everybody's gonna be back on here again and on facebook and on whatever call it radio call-in shows if they still have that for you really old timers and it's going to be the same <laughs> thing why are they burning everything down how can they burn down their own country look there's a guy who built his bar and now he's crying it's going to be the same fucking thing because the shit doesn't fucking change yes Spaniard? Quick, quick question here i um this was mentioned earlier today it was there was a press conference and it was the president um of one of the uh, organizations there in minnesota she had stated that there was an, an allegation that there was police that may have started the fire or uh, that started. The like, fire planted. during the riot. Yeah, during yeah, the riot that, that started. I, so I like, saw that shit. What are your thoughts on that? Is There's that is that legitimate or what is what's going on with that? I think that's the fucking that's that's Internet 
crazy yeah. bullshit with the guy. It's yeah. a it's a cop who was in. He had a mask on, and we have tweets from his. We got messages from his wife that she saw him, and he's the one that broke a window and started a fire. And it was a it was a Minneapolis cop. It's that's all bullshit. Yeah. So that's bullshit. bullshit. That hasn't been verified. That's At least I vote. hope it's bullshit. My, my my vote is it's bullshit. Yeah. Okay. I just you want to you want to you want to change you got to instill fucking change with this. I mean, it, it, shit, it just keeps going the fuck on. Like I said before, yeah. about like if it was if it was fat white dudes that this shit was going on for our whole lives, I'd be burning this shit down too. Exactly. I feel personally attacked with the fat white dude comment. You I, fucker. Well, you, you should be there, tiny. Let's do some sit ups. <laughs> so, you know, I, I mean, we can all sit here, but look around the fucking. Look at the pictures here. White, 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 kind of white. You know, and I mean, we can't even begin to imagine to pretend. And I hate to say these people, what these cats go through, or what they what they experience day to day. Oh, and man. we're going to sit here and pass judgment, and people are going to do it on the fucking internet. I saw a thing, a fucking person said to a fucking class, well, hi, all the white people in here, I'm asking the white people, how many people, how many, how many of you white people would want to switch places with blacks and be treated the same way blacks in America are treated today? Nobody raised their fucking hands. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Well, it's kind of hard to raise your hand on the internet. It was a fucking, it was a, it was a video. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you could raise, you could, is, you could raise your fucking, hand. It's, it's nuts. The shit doesn't change. The people, how many stories like this have we heard? Spaniard, Too that many. cat, that cat. Me and you went to, or was a couple years behind us in high school. That cat was a was a defensive tackle. He went to Northwestern. You got to have a, some fucking brains in Northwestern. He got pulled over on a Dan Ryan just because he was mm. six foot four and two hundred eighty pound black guy. They told him to get oh. out of his car. He reached for his fucking hairbrush because this was before cell phones he reached for his hairbrush and they put fucking like four slugs in him pop 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 yeah i remember that there's that oh, guy yeah, man. Just, it just it goes on and on and on and on and then to, then there's a riot and people say why are they rioting oh they're burning down their shit bullshit you know after the cop is finally locked away how soon do you think the current situation will be de-escalated it's not de-escalated no, until man. shit they actually changes. There's there's three other cops too. They should have de-escalated it two <laughs> days ago and said all forty. Number one, they were all yeah, fired. that brings me number to two, a, a they're point. They're all being locked up. They're being arrested. It brings me to a point. A lot of people are coming up with the argument saying like ninety nine percent of the cops are are doing the right thing. But if you look at this situation, that's not true. One hundred percent of those cops were in the wrong there. Oh yeah. I think you so. Know what, I, I, I got a thing. I got a thing for you. This is another one I want to double dog for. If you watch the video with the dude with his knee on his fucking neck murdering a guy in the street, I don't know what happened. When he's doing why. that and he's got his he's got his hand in his pocket. And they Ruby, you got some earbuds. Yeah, somebody yapping over there. Hang on. You got so. So low. piped out. Yeah, quiet down there, Missy. Get back in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can hear you. When well, sorry. Guys, hang on. Her mom's in the hospital. Oh, no. sorry oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that, but quiet down. Go, hey, go in your car. Hey. Uh oh, the dogs are attacking now. Get rubbish! Oh, run! The cops are there from Minneapolis. They got him. They got him. <laughs> they found you. I I'm just gonna go ahead and mute him for now. Anyway, here's my here's my thing. When they're being when 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 he's being filmed and there's the the obviously uh, it's a black dude who's filming him who's saying bro bro he can't breathe bro you know oh you're a tough guy bro what's your badge number and then the other chick comes over and she says I'm a I'm a fire woman from Minneapolis and she's yelling in her the guy with his with the knee on his neck I think there's like a human nature thing kicks in and Spaniard you're better at this than I am I, I think it was more like his own. I don't want to say ego or something, but I don't know what it would be like. His, def his defiance of them, like, yeah, fuck you. I'm still kneeling on his fucking neck, and I'm a cop, and there's nothing you can do about it. Go ahead exactly. and cry, black guy. <laughs> Go ahead and yeah. yell at me, fat white woman. There, you can't move me because I'm a cop, and I'm going to kneel on his neck and make you watch. And that's oh, the yeah. problem. Yeah, and uh, that's man. the problem. How do you fucking solve this? I don't know. I'm a fucking idiot that manages a school bus company. There's another <laughs> drop for you, Rajesh, who who talks about this shit on, on on a podcast in front of 15 people. You know, I don't know what the fucking answers are, but somebody's got to do something. 
And I know the answer isn't the fucking highest office in the land coming out and saying, when they start to looting, we start a shooting. That's not the fucking answer. That, that, that just that just reminds me of a car sales uh, thing. It I is. Know, like, it's, I imagine it this in, like, weekend. Fucking, yeah. Who was that fucking foghorn leghorn? It's like, I say, son, when they start saluting, we start a shooting. Oh, get away from me, son. You bother me. I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say yeah. No. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. And for us to sit here and say, and for anybody who is not in that situation of their fucking lives, to sit there and con- condemn them and, oh, tisk tisk, how dare you loot and burn. Damn. Bullshit, I say. Bullshit. Yeah, man. All right, let's vote on fucking pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think uh, we're going to oh, switch shit. gears yeah, here, okay. folks. Thanks for hey, thanks for all your yeah. comments. Um, you know, hey, every comment is appreciated. We want to hear from segue. you more. Uh, that I was think Ogre's uh, upset. And that's what we need more of. We need more dialogue. <laughs> we need more yeah, you know, people to voice their opinions because other, other than, you know, otherwise we won't know. We may find the answers through through dialogue like this. So thank you guys for, for all that you uh, um, have done tonight and, and every night. So. Doc, take it away. Well, um, it started as a one bracket type thing to find out the best burger. But we're going to continue this going along here. We're going to try and figure out the best chain restaurant in America and what you can get from that. Okay. All right. So tonight, uh, the first time we had, what was it, burgers. The last week we had French fries. This week we're doing pizza. So I hope Ooh. you guys are ready. Uh, so we're going to throw oh, pizza into the wait, ring. Wait, wait, and once wait, wait. we get, well, one second. Time out. Hold on. Sure. Doc, I have a question. Yeah, okay. You, you did say you did say national chain. This isn't like Joe Blow's Pizza down the block in, in like. That is that is correct. Presto These are, 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 are more well-known chains okay, that okay. have okay. significant okay. revenues. Well, all right then. Mm-hmm. So they should be a little bit known. If you if you still don't know them, because some of them may be a little bit more regional, uh, that's fine. Just Just guess whatever. Like Hector's Jerk Pizza. Yeah. Okay. I don't think that's making any revenue. Well, Hello, I'm Hector. Try my yeah. Jerk Pizza. So you're you're choosing your favorite pizza. Like no, what it is? doesn't matter what the pizza is. The, okay. the 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 whatever pizza you think is better from whatever establishment you think is better than the other. So right on. the first one being yeah. California Pizza Chicken. Or, oh my gosh, California <laughs> whoa, whoa. Pizza Kitchen versus Giordano's. Oh, jeez. Giordano's. Giordano's. Straight up, man. Giordano. It's sacrilege to even, even. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Sacrilege. So so all of you guys are going Giordano's. California pizza. I I don't know, but I want to try California pizza chicken. I'm sure they have (laughs) it on there. Actually, I have been, I have been to the restaurant. I was actually at a California pizza kitchen in California, and Mm -hmm. I had a barbecue chicken pizza. And, uh. The Giordano's. worst part of it, it probably could have come out of their freezer, and then they just slapped it in another. <laughs> well, here you go. <laughs> nice and fresh for you, buddy. Another for Giordano's. Yeah. I mean, m- most of our audience base is the Chicagoland area, so this one should be in, yeah. in absolute over, no over by there to Chicago <laughs> south side over mostly. Over yeah. right okay, so bars. Giordano's is going to move along. Let me grab my marker here. And the wet suburbs as well over there. Feel more. <laughs> West of right, Cicero. Next We're up, we West have Rosati's Ooh. versus Papa John's. Uh, Rosati's. Oh, God. Anything that. over Papa oh, John's. Oh, man. Papa John's. Are you going Papa John's, Spaniard? No, no, no. I'm, 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 I was being oh. sarcastic. No, I'm going I'm Papa going John's. Rosati's. Papa John's is fucking amazing. It was. Ever since Peyton Manning got his stupid ass involved, I lost interest. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you talking about? The crust is as big as his forehead. <laughs> That's why, man. Every time I ate that pizza, forehead. I thought of his forehead. It Papa just, John's just sauce appetite. tastes just tastes fucking funny to me. Oh, I love it. Uh, uh, Spaniard, what are you going for? Rosati's, yeah. Rosati's, okay. Uh, Preacher? Um, I actually haven't had Rosati's yet. Oh, so yeah. are you going to go Papa John's? I'm going to go Papa John's. Oh, I've had it. It's It's... Honestly, and the oh, dipping sauce makes for up Papa for a lot. John's, another for Papa John's. Another for Papa John's. Papa John's moves along. Ah, you people are stupid. That's right, are you stupid. Serious? <laughs> I ain't playing. You know, I'm taking my pizza. Yeah. Because this next one is because this food establishment has won the last two weeks for no fucking reason. We have Five Guys versus Domino's. 
What? Does Five Guys have pizza? <laughs> no. Where did this did you guys go for Five Guys? <laughs> Again. A, you I could make a guys. pizza burger. Oh, you, could, you could I vote for Five Guys, guys out of protest burger. for fucking that disgusting <laughs> Papa John's advancing. <laughs> All right. One for Five Guys. I'm going for Domino's. I'm going for Five Guys because I hate Domino's. I hate Domino's too, guys. man. I, just, I survived, I I survived on Domino's my freshman year of college. I cannot stand so Domino's. Spaniard. Oh, man. Was, I, if I got to stick with pizza, it's almost like election night. I'm going to have to say Domino's. You know, I'm actually a little bit surprised because Five Guys has been fucking raping everyone up in this bitch. Easy. But Domino's is going to move on. <laughs> Ixnay on the ape ray. There's, there's, there's <laughs> only one pizza place I hate more than Domino's, and we'll see if it comes up later. That's what I was going to say. They're probably next. <laughs> uh, we got next here, Blaze Pizza versus CeCe's. Oh, man. Why'd you have what? to have one that I hate and one that I don't know? <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I ain't voting CeCe's. I am not going to vote yeah, CeCe's. I, 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 I'm gonna have so to are you voting Blaze it. then? <laughs> I'm going to go with, with, you, I'm gonna have to surprisingly agree with Preacher. But yeah, give me that. You walk in and go CeCe's. I'm going CeCe's. Whatever the fuck that is. You, you, you start to walk out and they go, CeCe, see you later. I'm like, no, no, no. You're going to see my ass in your toilet, man. I never right Really? No, I didn't say that. Yeah. No, no votes don't count. You have to vote. Pick one or the other. Blaze. You're, you're, you're voting I'm going to say CeCe's because CeCe's kept my weight down. They have hospitality. They do. CeCe's, actually, they do. They do. CeCe's kept your weight in down. In they force uh, you yeah, to throw up. I mean, how the heck do they No do votes don't count. Submit your vote. We're, at a, we're almost at a tie here. Yeah, the kids The kids at CeCe's remind me of like a new generation of Zoom. Well, then you know, vote the for Blaze. Okay. They're all hip and cool. Linda votes for Blaze. Where the hell is Blaze from? I never even heard of it. I'm gonna go do it. Probably. I said it, there there might be some regional chains up no, in here, but it's, they're they're it's, very it's Joe well Biden's known. Favorite pizza. We're still, hey, we're real still quick, real. From I got a real quick comment from the uh, from the Black Sheep Bravo uh, hotline tip line. Preacher's hair is on point. Your hair's looking really good there, Preacher. It Bravo. is on very point. Nice. Yeah. No, well, right. thank you. Next up, we have Little Caesars versus Marco's it. Pizza. Hmm. Speaking of foreheads, what's that? Little, Little Caesars versus Marco's Pizza. Wow. Caesars versus Marco's. All those. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I've never had Marcos, so I'm actually going to go hit it. Caesars. Yeah, you, you, you hit it. You hit it right there. Right there. I got to go Marcos because I freaking hate Little Caesars. You know what? I'm oh, going to go with you the squirts a little bit. I'm going to go with Little Caesars, but I can't say I can't say why because Doc will get upset because it'll be outside the boundaries of the rules. But I vote Little. Oh, Caesar. it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Whatever you're voting for. This is the best pizza establishment. The best pizza chain restaurant. Oh, establishment. All right then. Probably Little Caesars because of that crazy bread. Yeah. That that eat, works too. I could eat three of those and then shit for four hours and still be happy. <laughs> right. yeah. Still have a smile on my face with a burning anus. I'm gonna go with Little Which, Caesars. Like not. Better. I'm gonna go with Little Caesars not only for its taste but its frugality. I, I love the five dollars. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> nice yeah. word. It's free. Yeah, it's I've been working yeah, on that all day. Uh, we got two word more the for the Caesars, station. one for Marco. Jeez. Um, Katie, you are correct. I voted for Crazy Bread. So, super and I like bread. gas station soap. Yeah, I mean, it's still. I mean, you're still going to the pizza place. All right, gas station Little soap. Moves on. <laughs> gas station soap is the cleanest right. thing there because it doesn't get used. Exactly. <laughs> all right. This next one is a tough one. We got Round Table Pizza <laughs> versus Chuck E. Cheese. Huh. Chuck E. Cheese is definitely known for their pizza. I'm going to go with um, Chuck E. Cheese because I like that big mouse. He ain't big anymore. <laughs> he ain't? Well, he was when I no. used to go. No, oh, like, they, do they still have those singing school. robots? Yeah, do they have the scary things? Automatron bears that freak you the fuck out when you're four years old? <laughs> they yeah. still got the MILFs there? I'm pretty they sure they were going to murder me. Yeah. I'm going with Wait, Chuck E. Cheese because just because of the MILFs. What, what do you, what do you <laughs> mean? Chuck I'm going yeah. Chuck E. Cheese. What do you mean Ogre, I'm your vote? What do you, what do you mean I'm gonna murder you? The, the animatronic that. things. Yeah, you can you never know. be too sure about around those things. They might come to life and that's right. attempt to murder you. Table. Brains. Uh, I'm gonna go round table. Going Chuck E. Cheese. Brains. Uh, yeah, it is Chunky frozen, frozen so, pizza. Yeah. So Chunky I, I'm frozen guessing pizza. that's your guess. Yeah. I'll take that. Uh, Preacher, what was yours? I'm gonna go round table. Did I get everyone table. on the show? Did I get you, Ogre? I think uh, I did. I don't know. Did you? No, I don't think it's worked. What's the what's the score? Uh, three to four to three. For who? 
I'm not answering that. Oh, uh, well, I voted for Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Okay, Chuck E. Cheese wins. Yeah. Nice. I've worked, at, I've worked at five different pizza places, so... Jesus. Oh, right. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. Wow. Wait, I know did my you, pizza. Ben Horn around. Were you fired, or did you quit? <laughs> You're such a... <laughs> oh, I quit. No, every <laughs> single every single one I quit. <laughs> I was say, man. You must every single one I quit. Maker. I've had enough I of this. I don't think anyone else caught that, Ogre. I'm uh, not right, rolling next this, up, though. We have Mod Pizza versus... Papa Murphy's. Where are these coming from? Ooh. Ooh. Did you make these up? <laughs> no, I got a these are pizza. legitimate no, like pizza. What is high mod? dollar, hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue. I've pizza. never yes. heard of Mod Pizza. Are they around here? Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. Mod Pizza? There's one in Sherrillville. Yeah. yeah. Hundreds of millions we're talking here. Mod these pizza. are all the top places. Yeah. What's the other mod, one? Mod Pizza versus Papa Murphy's. Ah, fuck you, man. I gotta go with Papa Murphy's because I've had it and I don't wish to vote for something called Mod Pizza. Well, if you don't, if you've never had either of them or don't know, just pick your favorite the one then. Because I'm a your rock favorite name. The Academy Not Awards. So, Ogre, you're going Mod or Papa Murphy's? Papa Murphy's. Uh, Spaniard. Papa Murphy's. I'm gonna go for uh, Papa Murphy's. That's All right. I'm actually gonna go for Mod Pizza. It sounds more like uh, contemporary. What the hell was that? Mm-hmm. Preacher? Mod what? Pizza Mod Pizza is like the subway of pizza places. You go there, yeah. you throw what you want on it for one price. They cook it in a uh, in a gas oven for you, in a Ooh. like a brick oven, and yeah. then they pull it out, hot and fresh, cut it up, and it's ah. in your box and you're ready to go. Yes, so it's a Mongolian so, grill. It's like a strip club I went to. But do once. they not touch it? Uh, <laughs> Untouched by last, human hands. The the <coughs> place that I was at, they they use gloves, but they do stretch the dough by uh, hand. More for Murphy's. So. Looks like Papa Murphy's is going to move on. <laughs> Me I'm going to go mod. Mm. But anyway. Even with your vote, we're not even going to come close Murphy. with mod. All right. Last Murphy, up, we have Sabaro versus Ooh, alive. Pizza Hut. Oh. 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 Yeah. Without a doubt. Ooh. Ooh. This one might be a little bit tough. I mean, I love the, the slices of Sabaro that you can get, like, uh, conveniently, walking through the yeah. airport and shit. Hell yeah. But Pizza Hut, I don't know. I really love their breadsticks. Their and breadsticks are by far the best of any other mm. pizza restaurant establishment there is. Uh... Hmm. So my vote is Pizza Hut. What say you, Mr. Ogre? Pizza Hut. Two for Pizza Hut. Spaniard. That's a tough one. A tough oh, man, I got introduced to Zabaro by the Fat Boys, and I had a slice of pizza with King Ed Rock one time, so I'm going Zabaro. Zabaro? Uh, yeah. Preacher. <laughs> King Ed Rock was the Beastie Boys. I'm, Plus, uh, Pizza Hut has the stuffed crust, and they are the original ones that did it. You're talking about Yeah, that's those. true. Um, Preacher. I'm still going, I'm still going Zabaro. I actually used to work at a Pizza Hut, and... Uh, uh, if you yeah. want to know, if you want to know a great story, uh, when I was interning in oh. New York City, uh, right. when I when I first was in seminary and I was studying to be a minister, I, I interned in New York City. I asked a New York City cop, "Where's a great place to get a slice of pizza? What's the what's the place he uh, references to me to? Sabaro down the street." <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> we're out of time story. here, folks. We need one person to break this. Hey, what oh, were you no. wearing, preacher? Oh, he was wearing his—he was wearing his priestly vestments. <laughs> not, you, not quite the vestments. I—I—I I, I did have a—I did have a pair of jeans and a polo on. But oh, that's right. Good all, story. Good all story. you can eat. Now you got me thinking. Uh, someone, thing. please vote. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm going to break it. Oh, you can eat. We're going to call it. Up. Please do a funky beat. Pizza Hut. Okay. Thank God. Man, you're you're so smart. You're so culturally smart. Or oh, I'm surprised you caught that. Well, thanks. And the uh, Beastie Luma Boys, Lattis, that was their man. first their their first uh, movie. Um, uh, Crush Groove. Appearance. Yeah, Crush Groove. All right, we are now in the quarterfinals. We got Giordano's versus Papa John's. Giordano's body move. Giordano's. Yeah, the one that's not Papa John's. That's what I vote against. <laughs> yeah. Papa John's can suck one. Uh, I'm gonna go. And so uh, can Spaniard? Peyton Manning. Giordano's. 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 Yeah. I'm hope... going Giordano's as well. <laughs> so far, this is a runaway. Four to zero. All of Black Sheep Bravo voted for Giordano's against Papa John's. Wow. Linda for Giordano's. Katie for Giordano's. It's decided. Giordano's. All right. Next up, we got Domino's. Versus CC's Pizza. Oh, wow. What the fucking Battle of the Titans right there. Battle of the Titans. Yeah. Oh, man. This one should be easy. Oh, we actually had a couple Papa John's in there. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised. 
No judgment, no, but no, I'm judging count. the fuck out of you. No, I judgment. judge them. Judgment. Yeah. They're all oh, no, I am judgment. too. Total Anybody that judgment. voted Papa John's can click off. Yeah. Hey, girl. Hey. We got one for Domino's, two for Domino's. You can stop Ogre. following us. Ogre. Jeez. You're not the kind of people we want. What? I'm still making fun of the Papa John's people. What? what? Who Domino's who? versus CZ's Pizza. Damn it. <laughs> There's four for Domino's. Domino's wins. CZ's. Oh yeah. Did you vote for Domino's? Domino's. Feces is crap. Why? Are you? Oh, shit. Now, bottom bitch is. Jeez. Feces is crap. Bottom bitch is packing her bags now. Because... Wow. Oh, that needs to be a soundbite. I'm going to get that, that out. I'm going to get that on a t shirt. Someone uh, mark the time crap. for me so I can get that later. Feces is crap. Come on. I need that one. Um, we got Little Caesars versus Chuck E. Cheese. Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, Ogre goes Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, hey, I got a preacher story. I used to work at Little Caesars. The, the well, end. No, I didn't. Uh, no, I did. I've never, I've never Me. worked at Little Caesars. Oh, you I did. did. Oh, okay. Yes. I'm still laughing at bottom bitches. He sees his crap, God. He sees his crap, God. I'm lucky I didn't take like a left cross over here. Damn. <laughs> Spaniard, we oh, got. I need counseling. I'm sorry. What little was, Caesars what was versus Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, little Caesars. Yeah, I'm going to Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Preacher? Pizza, pizza. Uh, I'm going with Chuck E. Cheese, the animatronic mouse. Chuck E. Cheese. Give me, give me the like... terror mouse. I missed that guy. Uh, everyone is voting for Little Caesars, so Little Caesars is going to win. Yay. Little Caesars? Yeah, that, that's about right. That's about <laughs> that's right. That's not far off. All yeah. right, we got uh, what is, what is Papa Murphy's versus too. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. The last in the quarterfinals. Murph. Papa Murphy's versus Pizza Hut. Ogre Murph. Murph for Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Burp. Oh. Yeah, you're the Robocop. Pizza Hut. Oh, there it is. Murphy. Preacher? Uh, I'm going to go with Murphy's. Murphy. Murphy's. All right, Spaniard. Murph. Drop it. I'm going to go with Papa Murphy's. Papa Dead Murphy's. or alive, you're coming with me. Uh, two more for Pizza Hut. Drop it. One more for P Papa Murphy's. I'm gonna go watch Robocop. Anyone else out there want to vote? Please vote for Bitches your leave. favorite pizza joint. Another uh -oh. one for the hut, and that seals the deal. What about the uh, What on. about the latest uh, Robocop Spaniard, the remake? How I What did you think about that one? I haven't seen that one yet. I think I'm gonna have to do a, like a like a wait. A quick marathon. We got something for this, Rajesh. Oh, oh my God, who oh, thank the you. hell cares? Hey, Devil Dog. Oh, uh, okay. What Straight happened? TV. <laughs> Devil Dog. Okay. Oh, crap. In... Oh, crap. He's cracking skulls for me. We got Giordano's versus skulls. Little Caesars. Giordano's versus Little Caesars. I really like those breadsticks. Crazy bread. Giordano's, Giordano's versus Little Isn't Caesars. Isn't Giordano's like a sit-down, fancy-schmancy place? No, they have takeout. No, you, you can what take out. What am I out. thinking of? Uh, they What's even the have delivery to. We to. What's the place we went to? Downtown with the fancy pizza. Who knows? Maybe River North. Ooh, we got we got one for Little Caesars yeah. here. Jesus Christ! One for Giordano's. I'm going Giordano's. Spaniard, what say you? I'm going on the frugality effort. Uh, yeah, I'm Gina. That's what Caesars. I was thinking. Gina, I was thinking oh, of Gino's okay. East. I'm going to vote for Little Caesars just because. Little Caesars. All right, uh, preacher. Giordano's. 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 We're at a tie game here. Uh, we got one more for Little Caesars. One more I do for miss Giordano's. Gino's we're, East, we're tied. Five years. This game is locked up right now. We need one more I, person to break this. I tie. actually you used will... to work at Gino's East. Giordano's. No shit. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. No, you didn't. <laughs> how many places did you? How many jobs have you had? Uh, <laughs> I've had a lot of jobs. Did um, they have the comedy club upstairs when you were? I there? used to work at Fazoli as well. I started working when I was 12 years old. So. Damn. Jesus. We got one when, when were you okay, born? 1820. <laughs> I had a paper route. Does that count? Six year old <laughs> fart. <laughs> All right, here. It's a little I think, not that far behind there, <laughs> the old timer. All right, here's what we're at, guys. I've never heard of we are at. I didn't grow up in your Pizza lab. Hut versus yeah, Domino's please. to go to the finals. Oh, Which one of those two goes Pizza to Hutt. the finals? Pizza Hut does. Just put them. Can they both lose? What's wrong with Pizza no, you, Hut? You have to choose one. I'm going Pizza Hut. Pizza Wait, Hut? Was, you put Pizza was, Hut on the same although, level as Domino's and Little Caesars? Although, yeah, I do. Domino's does have those sandwiches. They pizza Hut has tasty wings. Amazing. They got Wing Street. 
Pizza Hut also God. has that uh, that pizza cookie too. Oh, pizza Hut, yes. one for Domino's. Yeah. Spaniard. They also have salmonella. What was my options again? Pizza Hut versus Domino's. Pay attention. Domino's. Yeah, come on. Aren't you like Sorry. the host? <laughs> and the pasta uh, that, they, that they cook the via fuck? oven. Ugh. Can both of them lose? You won't see. Uh, you have to pick there. one. I have to pick one. Yes, uh, you do. Domino's, I guess. Oh, I have to. Got my back scratcher isn't out of reach. Butt scratcher. Anyone else? Butt we need scratcher. one more vote, please. Butt scratcher. Someone break the vote. Again. He, he needs his. Uh, he needs his uh, like, associate producer over there. Pizza Hut. Well, there were 800. Now there's about 725. We should do mail-in votes next time. <laughs> yeah, it might be faster. <laughs> you can get me started on that too. Shit, we'll be on. here. We'll be here till 10. Because kids, yeah, yeah, yeah. these kids these days are stealing them out of the mailboxes. Right. These damn and kids. And for the final, we're almost done here, folks. Let's <laughs> get through it. History. Pizza Hut versus Giordano's. Go, preacher. Giordano's. 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 Hands down. Hands down. All right. Yeah, Giordano's. Andrew, Giordano's. Giordano's. It comes down to those two. Little Caesars. Ogres, All right, the Pizza Hut Pizza came Hut. through in a weak bracket. Pizza Hut's way cheaper. Mm-hmm. I'm going with them. Pizza Hut is way cheaper. It is. Well, you're rolling at it, ain't you? Loads of money. Hey, whoa. You keep he, it down. He's pulling an O-chart over there. <laughs> Mr. Mr. 8,000 square foot estate or whatever. Fuck. They're going to they're gonna start going to Doc's money. house, right? It's, all, it's only 2,900 square shit. feet. Relax. Oh, excuse me. Koresh. <laughs> Koresh. The, the Doc compound. <laughs> gotta, uh, so that's what happened from the bus that he, uh, he bought from the ogre. <laughs> 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 He's loaded it up with hand grenades and drove it up to the hills of Pennsylvania. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Did we? Did somebody win? Man. We got two more for Pizza Hut. No, it's tied right now. Holy shit! Oh, oh, Devil Dogs. Oh dear, they set his car on fire. Oh shit! Oh crap! He has a sugar mama. Who does? You might be right. Oh, oh with Pizza Hut. They, they did set his car on fire. Holy crap! <laughs> Devil Dog's gonna have to walk back wow. to the Bronx from Brooklyn. It's gonna hey, be like the Warriors. He's gotta go. He's gonna say the Warriors. Yeah. Hey, I found Grand Central. I found oh, we we got the final vote in there. Okay, the finally there we go. Oh, uh, That's a how the different f- movie. Oh, that was Pizza that. Hut. I know, I know it's a different movie. Congratulations, <laughs> Pizza Hut. You're the best pizza chain there is in America. <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> 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 not invasion usa what's that one called let me I'm ask you blank. something doc can you dawn. eat any of those pizzas get red dawn that's it no red i can't dawn. eat any of them red, from red any dawn dawn. Where we got the whole red list i can't you can't eat any of them oh yeah you got the, the, doc, on, the doc yeah Titan. that's right yep that's true no pizza at all none of them i have to make my own i make my own crust and Gross. i make my own pizza and everything you don't make it out of like cauliflower you're not that guy are you no 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 i i use real flour let's let's be real Okay. Dogs, All right, just girl. checking, just checking, making sure. Please. All right, yeah, Spaniard, wrap this shit up. Game, I got things to do. Yeah, <laughs> great game. So, let's get um, the fuck out of here. Let's go yeah. ahead and do a final thought then, uh, Ogre. Final I thought. said enough during a fucking show yapping. You got people know sure. my opinions. So, uh, you know, I don't have the answers, but shit's got to change, and standing around peacefully protesting doesn't get your fucking word out there. So, what? Totally agree. I agree with oh, you. Oh, no, uh, I'm on vacation, so uh, I'll be busy on Monday night, so right we'll on. see you uh, he's getting busy. next Friday. No uh, no Monday motivation this week. I know all, all right, he's getting 42 busy. of you will be highly upset. And for the record, uh, Katie wants to throw out there that my pizza is amazing because I make stuffed crust. See, that doesn't yeah. count. She, you're married to her. She has to say That's stuff. That's right. Crust. She's got to say that. <laughs> or else she'll cut your backhand. Back in the kitchen. I'll send you guys a picture. We'll see. Uh oh. Yeah, this there. Bottom bitch said, "Send her to CC's Pizza." <laughs> yeah. And hey, uh, bottom, tell bottom bitch I'm gonna call CC's tomorrow. We have uh, an endorsement. She's gonna, she's gonna be the new spokesperson for CC's. Spokesperson for CC's. There you go. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So uh, just uh, whatever. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but you know. People have wrong opinions too, because if you have the Keep opinion two plus two is five, you're you're still wrong. So, all right, all right, CC's is crap. We got it. Jesus, she's still she got her all worked up over CC's pizza. The fucking world's burning, and she's uh, worried about CC's pizza over here. So, uh, well, then I guess we did our job. I'll see, I'll see you Friday. Yeah, we did our right job. On. Preacher, final <laughs> thoughts. 
Well, since uh, since I got some good feedback last week from the toast I did, I'm going to do another toast. So Ooh, another here toast. we go. Oh, Everyone raise a glass. Uh-oh. May those who love us love us. May those who hate us, may God turn their hearts. And if he cannot turn their hearts, <laughs> may he turn their ankles kitty, 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 kitty. Them by their limping. Holy cheers. cheers. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Did you say raise a cat <laughs> or raise a glass? That cat looked angry as fuck. Yeah, that cat's a bitch. <laughs> All right. Doc, final thought. <laughs> that cat looked angry as fuck. You know, again, we, we don't have the answers here at Black Sheep Bravo, but we, we also understand that shit has to change. I do. Something has to change. Um, the, the, the inherent way that police are handling things are is is not the correct way obviously uh something needs to be different but don't be that person that deletes your friend's comments from facebook that's all i got <laughs> <laughs> right on thank you doc all right folks and there you have it another friday night under Al donald hey thank you guys for joining us hey the world may be in uh <laughs> you know, maybe a little bit in disarray, but we got to keep, uh, you know, we got to keep, uh, keep, keep fighting the fight, I guess. I don't know. Whatever fight it is, whatever your fight is, just uh, do something constructive. All right. That's all I got. And uh, until uh, next week, again, no uh, Monday motivation, but um, Preacher right. and myself will be back on Monday morning <gasps> for the morning sound off. Have a great weekend, folks. <laughs> And, uh, oh, don't forget, oh, SpaceX. You touch my touch 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 constructively mm-hmm. constructively mm-hmm. burned down a target. Yeah, that's going to land like right there. Oh, man. Well, what a fucking weekend. Yes. I haven't finished my whiskey early. Oh, you touch my ta la la. Touch it. Did you, did you, did you, did you boot Grubby or did he take No, I think he left. No, he had his dog. His dog left or his his dog got out. Dog left. Packed his bags. I'm out of here. Fuck you. Fuck this, man. I'm done. World's burning. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I saw that thing you were talking about Spaniard with the guy where they had the fucking with the, with the cop where the people are saying, oh, it's a cop. Yeah. Yeah. Are you friends with Jim McGlashan? Uh, I don't TFR. think so. No. I'll see if I got. I'll see if I can send you this thing he had up there in Messenger. He had a whole conspiracy theory I mean, thing on it. It was hilarious. After the, this many fucking incidents, I mean, at this point, it's like you reap what you sow. Yep, that's the whole thing. Yeah. Double Dog just <laughs> sent another video to us. I like when people ask us what the answer is. So what do we do? How about really? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that's crazy, isn't it? That's what I'm saying. We gotta keep, keep screw going. logic. Screw I, anything. I have Bullshit. an idea. I just don't. Want, I just, I just don't want to be laughed at about it. <laughs>